She's Victoria's Secret model, Aaron Heatherton, who joins us here in the man cave. Fritzy wore the uh, Victoria's Secret wings, or as close as I could get to the wings. What do you think, Aaron? I think they're pretty amazing. Thank you. I really like the bottom half of what you're wearing. Wow. They are medium. Can we see that? Fritzy, come on over here and stand in front of Aaron. Fritzy has really his, um, and he's got some guns uh, on him there, Aaron. What do you think of the arms? Pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty solid. And then he's got boxers on. They do. Yeah, so be careful there. Really nice legs. Yeah, nice legs. <laughs> mm. Have you ever seen legs careful. that white? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh really. you have? Yeah. Yeah. Well, My brother's. Yeah, we'll start, you know, summer's <laughs> over, you know, you lose some of the <laughs> I still have the farmer's tan a little bit. Did you make those yourself? I did not. One of the guys in production was kind enough to go look all over the place looking for a for a store that sells these. He, oh, he bought them like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like I think a, I'm wearing them upside down, they're telling Yeah, me. turn around. I think is, you... Is this wrong? I, I think... Oh, wow. Aren't, are the wings upside down, I think? We got the general look. Yeah, right? that's right. And he, you want me to keep this on for a while, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right, go it sit. suits you. Okay. Go Thank sit you. down. I appreciate that. Very handsome. <laughs> Fritzy, would you walk outside and go get Aaron some coffee? I'll get her whatever she wants. Uh, <laughs> Would you like some coffee, uh, Aaron? Because Fritzy will walk down the street in his wings. Great. Oh, that'd be amazing. Okay, well, just get, just ask for something. He'll go get it for you. Starbucks. Would you like some Starbucks? I would love some Starbucks. Okay, what would you like? Fritzy, would you go to Starbucks for Aaron? Sure. Okay. Black double espresso. Black, Black double espresso, all right? Black double espresso. All right. We can do that. All right, so... Uh, Thank you. There you go. <laughs> if we can have a cameraman follow Fritzy down the block. It's Fritzy's birthday, by the way, Aaron. Oh, my God, it's your birthday. It yeah. is. Yeah. Should we sing you happy birthday? Uh, if you'd like. No, go ahead, Aaron. Am I going? Would you, wait, hold on. Aaron's going to sing you happy birthday. Come okay. over here and let I'm her coming. sing happy birthday to you. I'm coming. Isn't Fritzy Jewish? Yes, he is. I'll sing it in Hebrew. Okay. My son's bar mitzvah is next year. He said. All right. I told you to wish her, what did I tell you to wish good, her? Good young A Lashana Tova for a happy and healthy new year. All right, okay. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we rehearsed this. Much nachas. Much nachas. Okay, here we go. Are right, you ready? All right, I'm ready. Okay. My singing debut. Debut. The okay. world. Here we go. Yom huladet sameach. Yom huladet sameach. Yom huladet sameach. Yom huladet sameach. I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's awesome. You made my day. Just, Fritzy, my life's just getting Fritzy. better and better. Oh, here we go. Oh, Here's the hug. One, two, three, <laughs> two, three four, four seconds. <laughs> I behaved. Oh, three second hug. I told you. Is that you. longer That's than three? It. All right, go get some coffee for Aaron. He just sung in Hebrew, happy birthday to me. I know. That's like a big deal to me. All right. I'm getting a little verklempt and I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> go get her some coffee. Double espresso, what'd we say? Black, no sugar. Black, no sugar. No, he's going to screw it up. I'll probably screw it up. Why do you guys not... act like dorks in front Dor of models? Why do they act like dorks in wings? <laughs> <laughs> no, but guys do. Do they? Yeah. I like dorks. Yeah, well, hello. We've got the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> got a whole room uh. full. Reminds me of high school. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul. Dan, every time we have a model or actress in here, they always say, oh, I love dorky guys, but we never see them with no, dorky they never, guys. You never date dorky guys. Really? No, no. I am a dorky guy. You in, are? In my heart, yeah. Okay. Like, uh, you're, I was, did science fair. I was pretty dorky. Really? Do you do, uh, like, fantasy? Football uh, fantasy league? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm a woman still. Not that it's not feminine to do fantasy football. I do other indulgent things aside from fantasy football that are quite dorky. Like? Like um, work, well, stand-up comedy. Listening to stand-up comedy that's constantly. Really? Watching, that's all I watch. Wait, you want to be a comedian? No, I just love comedians. Have you done stand-up? I have done improv once on The League, which is about fantasy football. Yes. But I've never myself gotten into it. Um, in my uh, grammar school, the kid, the boys, they used to do fantasy uh, baseball, fantasy everything. And um, I remember once uh, during the football season, I found a tape of the Super Bowl shuffle <laughs> and I memorized it. Do you know it now? Uh, not, not the whole thing, but I, I, I watch it from time to time. It's All right, let me good. hear it. Let me hear it. Oh, two singing, two singing yeah, you can episodes do on one. One show. Look at what I did for Chrissy Teigen. I'm going to do the same for you. I'm the worst singer. It's all right. Okay. Like, call me sweetness. And I, I can, oh, uh, yeah. I don't know like all the words. All right, give me just a sampling can you, of Can you fill in for me? No, I can't. You can't? You don't know? Paulie? There's a, a one line with Walter Payton. They call me sweetness. I like to dance. Running the ball is like making romance. That's one that I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, it's so It'd good. It'd be much better if you delivered it. I need a carry. I need the karaoke words. Hi. Right. No, we are the Bears Shuffling Crew. Shuffle on down, do it for you. We're so bad, you know we're good. Fill in. <laughs> line. Blowing your mind like you knew we would. Yeah. <laughs> That's good enough. Are you a Bears fan? Um, yeah, I'm a big Bears fan. Is your family a Bears fan? My family is in a unit a Bears fan. Right. Do One you, Bears fan. Do you go? We No, we watched on TV. We I have three siblings, and we all played three sports. So there was no time, really, to go to games because we were always playing games. But you go from a nerd to Victoria's Secret. How's that happen? Uh, how does that happen? Um, well, I'm here. I was scouted, visiting a university. and What's that mean, you're scouted? Is it like you're recruited? Is it like college football? Or I, Who's going a, to Skokie to notice that you're there? I was actually, it was my first plane ride um, to Miami to visit the campus my junior year of high school. Uh, I wanted to be a doctor and study biology. So it was just, this was my first trip. And somebody jumped out of a cab and chased me down the street and asked me what agency I worked for. And I said, I don't model. And I was horrified because that has never happened to me before in Skokie. So um, uh, my friend's mom got the contact. My mom got the contact and we went to New York and then met with agency. She left three days later and that was it. And you never left? That was the yeah, end. I didn't go home for like six months. And nobody contacted you? Nobody contacted me. Oh, either. wait. She went home. You stayed here? Yeah, she just left me. <laughs> and then you became, wait, but still, you, you, how do you become a Victoria's Secret model? Uh, how do you become, I guess it's always, it's my first shoot. It's becoming a model, you know, it, it, how it kind of comes to fruition is you do a shoot and it's, you know, quite like many jobs. It's either you, you can do it or you can't, right? So I did my first test shoot, and for me it was really fun, and it was really natural. I really enjoyed it, and it's, I'm not, I don't like to be on stage. I don't like to, you know. I get, well, you're in the wrong business. Oh, it's, I used to have terrible stage fright walking. It took me years to okay, learn. Okay, is there an art to walking down the runway? Oh, my God, yes, yes. I used to, I used to have um, my roommate. McLovin, would you show Aaron how, now he used to be a, a torso model. Oh, did he? Yeah, you Mc, have a long torso. Yes, McLovin. Yeah, he's That's six very four. Very good for uh, went, went to Dartmouth. Um, now you judge. He did torso modeling. So McLovin, if you show Aaron how you. Uh... Wow, really? I think you should hold the pose at the end a bit longer. Kind of move that torso around. Yeah, there you go. That's gonna like move that. product right there. Wow. That is gonna move that's, product. That's powerful. Yes. <laughs> powerful. <laughs> I'm moved. <laughs> Once again. I'm humbled. Dork, dorks humbled in the room. <laughs> uh, Aaron Heatherton is joining us, Victoria's Secret model. Uh, 5'11", 5'11", what? Oh, I grew. I'm six feet now. Are you really? Yeah, I did. Six feet. And you got high heels on, so you're about 6'3". Yeah. Or maybe. A little bit. Okay. So five. You're 6'3". You're six, six I'm 6'3". Six that's, that's awesome. It is? The rarity to find these, these creatures. Well, men. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. It's awesome. Is that a deal breaker if somebody's like 5'8"? No. Oh, it's not? No. 5'7"? Like, where's the cutoff for you? It's really in the, you know, there's a, a certain power. It's also shoulders. Shoulders are sexy. Oh. You know, the shoulders can give you an extra two inches just. Well, Fritzy's got, had nice shoulders there with he did. his guns. He did. Big arm. You like that? And the wings, you know? You like really got a little excited. <laughs> that shoulder. So, so we're in Grown Ups 2 together, although we didn't shoot at the same time. You had the great uh, car wash scene. <laughs> I've never seen myself so big. What do you mean? On that, you were at the, at the yeah, premiere. premiere. Oh, my God. I was huge. I understand why people get freaked out. It was like so huge, too much me for me. <laughs> also, seeing you on the big screen, yeah. like all arms and legs in, in the yes. car wash scene. Uh, and also, like, uh, that I shot the day, the car I was washing, Steve Buscemi. Yeah. He's like one of my favorite all time actors. And so, and I'm not really good at being a, sl a slutty car washer. <laughs> like, like, I could do. <laughs> well, who is? Like, I, 
well, the other girls, oh, they were, very they were good? really good. I'm like, they're really out slutting me. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. <laughs> and I could, I can model, but I really am not a good slutty. I'm like, mm. not mm. a natural thing that I, I've just have in me. I realized that day. And so I'm washing Steve Buscemi's car and I want to like him to respect me, but I'm like being a slut. And it was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> did you see me climb a rope in my scene? I, I I'm did. Legit, yeah. How was that? I liked it. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to see me climb a rope? Do we have a rope in here? This is a real man cave. I don't have a rope in here. Next time I'll get a rope here. We should have one. And a car for you to wash next time. Oh, I should practice. <laughs> <You> should. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key to anything. Modeling, back to that. You just got you can learn anything if you just practice. Are you working with the NFL? Yes. What are you doing? I am working with this company called the Northwest, and they um, are the they license the official blanket of the NFL, and they work with. Did you bring a blanket in? Oh. Hello, product so placement. Dumb. So dumb. I have so many at home too. Mm. They're wonderful, um, and yeah. So from my experience with Victoria's Secret and just being a spokesmodel, I you know want to take that opportunity and bring it back to my roots. My parents are huge sports fans. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. That's what, probably why they're still together. Um, they listen to your show. Oh, that's nice. Are they listening right now? Yes. Oh, boy. Hi, Mom and Dad. Am I being respectful? Are we being respectful? Am I? Don't I? Think I am. Oh, yeah? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. they're, <laughs> they have a high threshold. <laughs> oh, they do? <laughs> oh, yes. good, good. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Can you bring blankets next time? Oh, why yes. didn't you bring the blankets? Because, I'm sorry, Ross. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't want you to get fired for not bringing blankets. No, no. He, he would, he loves, to, he sends my family like room full of blankets for the Bears, the Cubs. Like we have all of these we need to NFL get, fans here. What we What are your teams? Uh, Paulie's a Bears fan. Paulie's a Bears fan. Yeah. McLovin is an Eagles fan. Okay. Uh, Seton is a, are you a Jets fan? Giants uh, fan? I'd probably go Patriots. Oh, Pat, that's right. Yeah. Well, because the Bears beat you. Mm. Whoa. Sorry. And uh, Fritzy is a Broncos fan. And you? I'm just a fan of all the teams. Yeah, that's a question I, want, I wanted to ask, actually. Um, so I love watching sports, but I find that, like, going to games, and, you know, when you're watching a game, you want to root for a team, mm. right? Mm. So where's the line when you're a sports fan or someone who's always, been, you know, at sporting events, where's the line where you are not betraying your team. You know what I mean? Well, you can enjoy another team. You just can't root for another team. Really? Unless you're supporting a friend who's playing. Look who's here with your coffee just in time. Oh. I'm I sure he's true to I would have bought you the biggest oh. size that they have. On your birthday. Oh, Fritzy, not too close. Oh, All right. Come on. All right. Oh. Well, Aaron. Is this? I'm having the best birthday. Aaron, <laughs> we appreciate you coming in. And it's, it's Northwest? The Northwest, yes. Okay, the Northwest. And you can get blankets, which we apparently have to go to the website since you didn't bring any in. <gasps> no, you're going to get some. I'm going to come in tomorrow and just send them all up. No, Saturday we don't work. Oh, really? How about we, how far do you live from here? We'll just go over to your kind place. Kind super close. Okay. You guys want to come over for dinner? <laughs> yeah, can we come over for, uh, you know, like lunch? Dinner. Dinner? Fair yeah. enough. Who's up for dinner at uh, Aaron's? I just, <laughs> <laughs> Are I you, just renovated. Can you cook? Um, my boyfriend can cook. <laughs> oh, she threw out the boyfriend uh, she thing. Did that. They all Buzz do that. Guy. Now nobody does it. Nobody does it. They don't want to go to dinner. That's the yeah. oldest move in the industry, Aaron. He cooks so well, though. No. You'll change your mind. <laughs> Could we beat him up? You wouldn't want to. He's so sweet. He is? Yes. Did he show up with you? No, but he would have. Is he 6'3"? And does he have his own TV and radio show? He doesn't. No. Yeah. And does he have a voice like this? No, it's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Okay. Uh, Can you do a horror movie thing? What do you want me to do? Like. Don't go into the meat locker, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you do more? <laughs> I love Starring them. Aaron Hilton <laughs> in theaters Friday. Don't go into the locker, too. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll get to your phone calls. This is The Dan Patrick Show. <laughs> <laughs>